Night, Rosanna. Yeah, it certainly is, Jane. Thank you very much. We're taking you inside the explosive world of an Adelaide property manager. Now, on this program, we've seen plenty of bad tenants, but Hayley Marley Duncan gives us a rare fly-on-the-wall insight into what happens when they cross that line. Over the last 12 months, we've captured her fiery encounters with not just renters, but police, the courts and rival agents. She's hated by many, but landlords love her. You, of course, can make up your own mind as we bring you the first in the series series of Haley's Law. Here's Frank Pangello. So I've got a property manager here locally that has said to me, I wish I had half the guts you've got, but I just haven't. You know, it's not a property management, you can't really teach someone, you've got to have the right personality for it. What are you going to do, mate? Mind your business. Why should people do business with you? Because I get the job done. Okay. Call it Haley's Law. Here's a report which is not passed again. Surprise, surprise. And make sure you're out on Tuesday. I won't be. Well, you will be. Sorry. Good luck with that. Okay. Good luck, Thank I'm professional, Thank I'm you. rude, I'm an arsehole. You are. You, I didn't well, say, so I've never said you were an arsehole. Yeah, why are you still here? You know what I think of you? I don't really care yeah, what you well, think I of me. Yeah, well, I don't give a what you think about me, well, and I don't good. want you here end of the day we select pretty good tenants and when if we don't and we have issues we're all over them don't judge people i do judge people i don't like the human race so you do That's wrong very obvious if you do wrong then you're going to cop it five brand hayley marley duncan runs a property business in gawler in this sedate old town on the way to south australia's barossa valley wineries she's a square peg in a round hole more of my landlords come to me because they know I'll get the job done. I fight for their rights. My principles mean everything, so if a tenant does wrong, I'll go after them. I don't care. It could explain her success. She guards the 300 properties on her rent roll like a hawk. And you know what, you know what deeply concerns me about this is what do welfare do about this? Kids are living in this shit. All our tenants are told, you pay your rent, you look after the property, you won't know that I exist, but you start not paying or not doing correct things, then I'm all over you. It's your responsibility as a tenant to keep it clean. And not right, not so anyone else's. So it's a pigsty. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. My opinion is. Okay. Anyway. Can we come for your house? My house. You wouldn't be able to um, pick a thing somewhere. in my house. And see, I live in a million dollar property, yeah. so you can pick a thing. I don't know why. I know I am. It's hard, but I am. The business has made her and husband David wealthy. They've been together for 20 years. Yet, He's nothing like her. I like strong women. I don't like meek, mild, weak women, you know, just, yeah, I like the way she is. And you won't try and change that, or you haven't tried to oh, change? I've got no chance of changing that, no way. Yeah, she's how she is, and that's, that's it. I only deal with people that I deserve. We, we work hard for our landlord. I've put my life on the line for them at times. I've had death threats, all sorts of things. If they're not going to give me the same loyalty and respect back, then I don't want their business. Haley's landlords, like flight engineer Mick Wright, love her attack dog persona. I know she can be brash and rough and everything else, but I don't really care about that. That's not my problem. Um, and if she upsets a tenant, they probably deserve to be upset. All their landlords love her. They, they know that um, she'll fight for them, you know. Um, one of them, I remember saying, one of them says, oh, Haley is a bitch, but she's my bitch, you know, so... That's, that's, that's good. Not so tenants who cross the line. This is harassment, discrimination. It's wrong. That's Why cool. are you so arrogant? Arrogant? I'm yes. doing my job. Or anyone who crosses swords with this fire-breathing dragon of a real estate agent. You dare go to my landlord and threaten her, you're going to deal with me. I don't care, I don't need them to like me. I'm not here to be liked, I'm here to do a job. And if they do the right thing, they don't have anything to do with me. And in, in fact, most of the tenants don't even know me. There isn't a soul in Gawler and beyond who hasn't heard about her tectonic reputation. Gawler gossip is rife with many stories about her, much of them untrue. I do swear, that's one thing that I do do. I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, I'm not an alcoholic. My kids have got a great life. People go on that I shouldn't have children because I swear, well, there's a lot worse out there, so they need not worry about my kids. She never starts it, but she definitely finishes it, so, and 
You know, she does cop a lot of stuff and it's always personal attacks. Her friends love her just the way she is. They say rough diamonds. You know, she has a beautiful heart and I've seen her go far and beyond for tenants. She's got very high morals. Um, she's very outspoken. She tells it like it is. Um, very good judge of character. Yes, she does swear a lot, uh, but that would be the only claim that, in my mind, is uh, valid. At home, she's a contradiction, doting on her two kids, 13-year-old Chelsea and the apple of her eye, Casey, a seven-year-old junior motocross champion. Oh, she's a great mum. You know, she's, she disciplines the kids, you know. You, you won't see our kids running around the streets being rat bags. Um, they've got boundaries, they know them, so they don't step over them. And, yeah, they're great kids, well-adjusted, fun, happy. Yeah, yeah, great. We spent a year inside Haley's chaotic world, doing battle with their tenants. Get out of the property, please. Are you, are you touching me? Oh, I don't reckon. Did you just push me? Get out Did of the property. Did you just push me? Jealous rivals. Please explain to me how, how you get away with telling people that I'm dangerous. No. I'm out. You're going to listen to me. Don't push me. Don't... Government departments. And they get it wrong with lots of things. The local cops. Who are you listening to? OK. No, you answer my question. We now need to leave. Don't touch me. Get your hands off me. We get now your hands off me. We now need to leave. Just go f*** it. F*** it, you police are. Website trolls. Don't sit there with that stupid look and smirk on your face, because at the end of the day, well, I, obviously, I don't give a whether you're happy or not. I'm not happy about your side allowing people to put on there about me that's not true. Even family. Oh, no. Not you. Whatever. You're fat. You're a waste of time. Lose some weight. You're a waste of time and energy. You know what? I can lose weight. You're still ugly. Yeah, you're, you're the ugly one. You haven't seen anything like Cyclone you know, Haley. Because my temper is running very, very fast. Do you know you something, know lady? You know what? Get out of my you know face. Inspection. Okay. I don't care. You're not allowed on here. Why? Because you are not. You cannot rock up to my house for a for a um, inspection. Hello. Today, Haley's inspecting Hello. the rental where welfare recipient Hello. Debbie Breen Hello. lives with her family and a pet dog. That dog's not supposed to be inside, and um, we've already. We need to put some sort of. Fence no. In the tribunal, to yeah, the tribunal told you to make a pen for your dog. So it is no, not my... You've got, you've got a pen around there that you can put that oh, dog in. Breen is heavily in arrears, so there's no love lost here. It came to our attention that they lied to us on their application form. They put a false reference, being one of their friends. I thought, the only way I'm going to get a house, and I mean, I know lying was... I shouldn't have done that, but I did. And, but I don't deserve to be treated like this either. And we don't want tenants like that, because it's not what we do. She doesn't like what she sees. What's wrong with that? That's a fenced-in area you can put your dog in. Haley's intent on evicting Debbie. She wasn't paying her rent on time when she first moved in. We then had a lot of complaints from neighbours about people coming and going, and then we found out that she was not a very nice person. She lied to us on her original application. We did further digging and found out she's not the person she said she is. Well, we're going to get in breach today for the dog being inside. I don't. She just finished inspection and leave. I don't need to speak to you. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You do. If you don't need to speak to me, then don't rent through me and leave. Do me I'll the favour. Good. And you know what? I would never rent to you and I would never rent it to you in the first place with your lies. So, do you think I care? More to the point, Hayley, you're known by tenants, landlords and other agents as for your dodgy business practices. Back in the office, Haley's blowing her stack over malicious posts about her on a new website for tenants to vet their views. It's called Home Truths. People like that are gutless, clearly got no life, and most of them are probably scrubber tenants who are bad tenants, so they get frustrated because they don't get to get away with stuff with me. The moderator of Home Truths is going to be in her sights after failing to keep a promise to remove many of the false and derogatory remarks about her. This, this site's a joke. You see, shut down. She vows to flush him out and confront him face to face. So what are we supposed to do? Just sit back and let this crap be written about us? The only thing that's true about me is, yes, I swear, I can be a bitch, but only when people do wrong. With the eviction order pending, Haley returns to Debbie's place for yet another inspection. With them, I've been doing them monthly because they're not good tenants. And have you found problems in the past? Yeah, they're not clean. Um, dog's been inside, a few, few issues, yeah. You let them have it when you see that? Yeah, basically, yeah. And they don't like that, do they? No, they don't. Don't like hearing the truth, I don't think. You got an eviction order on Tuesday? Yeah, but I'm actually um, got, got on the tribunal and I'm going to dispute it. How can you dispute a non-payment of rent order? Because 
Have you seen that switch out I don't there? Care. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Electric shock from it. I don't care. There's no issue with it. I've just used it and it didn't electrocute me. So, you know, she's admitted she's got mental issues. So really, she's got things, voices in her head. And she owes you how much rent? About five weeks. And these carpets, you haven't even again, a dirty. Such a dodgy job. Yeah, dodgy job. What, it not is, letting you get it. away with not serious. paying your rent? She's told me she's going to make it impossible for me to get another house. So where am I going to live? How yes. come they ended because your lease? Because I said I don't want to be here so anymore. So why are you still here then? Please because explain. Because I have to... Uh, Please explain why you're still here. To live. But you're making so it too make hard. Difference. So then you, you stop paying, paying your rent. Too hard. I'm making yeah. it too hard. Because I got electric shock off that power port, off that switch there. I am not paying it until that's fixed. Well, guess Same what? as the tap. You're going. Well, you're going. You're going. So play your games you all you like. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. Inspection. You're not going to win. Did you need to be that nasty with her? Yeah, I do, because her history's been bad from the beginning. Um, which is when she got false reference for the rental in the first place because we wouldn't have rented her in the first place. It's your responsibility as a tenant to keep it clean. And not what, so not it, anyone so else's. It's a big yeah, it is. Yeah. But I've Debbie gets an unexpected last-minute reprieve. You've got to be f***ing kidding me. How can they do this? This is bull****. I'm going to ring them. Haley goes ballistic at the Residential Tenancies Tribunal. What, what, what do you mean? Hang on, no, don't, don't, no, hang on. Yes, I do. Don't talk over me. Don't talk over me. See what I mean? They hang up on me. She reckons it's in hand. See that? How come they won't even talk to me? Like, we've got an eviction order for this tenant for six weeks rental arrears, and they've gone and let her put a barrier to set aside for a light switch, which is not even relevant. At the Residential Tenancies Tribunal a few days later, the original eviction order is upheld. A win for Haley, much to her annoyance. Tribunal do things like this all the time. They don't ever get all the facts. If they'd have pulled this file out and looked at the history, it should never have been allowed. Debbie has to go. You didn't warn her that you were holding back the rent? No. Right. No, that was probably a mistake. However, the tribunal has taken exception to Haley's hysterical broadside over the phone to its staff and is now threatening her with contempt. You don't think that you went too far? No, not at all. And I, I don't have any tolerance for incompetence. End of the day, everyone's got a job to do. If everyone does their job correctly, then there's not an issue. But when they are not doing their job and then it hinders me doing my job and then upsets my landlords, then I'm going to get upset about it. As Haley predicted, Debbie Breen has yet to pay what she owes. The final inspection of Debbie's vacated rental is uneventful. Well, they've left. And the condition of the place? Um, bit dirty, obviously a bit of damaged lino, um, but better than what I anticipated being what she's like. You have done something oh. that is just unforgivable. And I can't believe in this day and age that you have got away with it. That is until next door neighbour Diane Symes challenges Haley's actions against Debbie. So don't you dare come out here and tell me meh, meh, what you did to that band because you don't know what you're talking about. So mind your business, I suggest you off. I can't believe it. I just can't believe that, that in this day and age, someone can get away with doing what this lady's doing. Sparks fly when Diane crosses the road to abuse Haley's landlord, an elderly woman who relies on the rental's income. Do you know you something, know lady? You know what? Get out of my face. You I'm know telling something? you now. Uh, uh, get out of my face. Come, you know on. Come, on. Come on. I'm telling you now, get out of my face because I'll knock you. I, know, I will but, knock no. you. You wouldn't because no. you know what? I'll knock you the out. Touch me. I you swear know. to God. Once, get off my jacket. Can I tell you something? I swear to God, don't. Can I just get off my jacket? Can I tell you something? You hurt me. Get off my jacket. You hurt me. Get off my jacket. You hurt me. Ladies, please. Get off. Ladies, please. Get off. Please. Get off. Ladies, Get off. Can I tell you something? What? Just let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Do you know what? It's been just another day at the office for the screen queen of real estate. They only tell one side of it. If you want both sides, then get both sides before you form an opinion. You know, we don't go looking for trouble. We don't go wanting to uh, harass people for no reason. We want our job to be easy. It's easy money for me then. I don't want to have to go around and, and you know, harass people to do what they should be doing. Next on Haley's Law, springing a trap on the mystery man running the Haley hate site. I think you're a little gimp that started up a site that is complete it. And watch the fur fly and the claws come out as she tangles with the cat woman. You're going to have nowhere to live soon, so good luck with that. I told you I'd get you out, didn't I? 
Well, plenty more fireworks, drama and controversy to come. And it's also worth mentioning that we did approach all parties from the Residential Tenancy Tribunal to Consumer Affairs, the Police and the Real Estate Institute, but all declined to respond. Yes.